So hi guys, Gary Kitchen out here with Let's Play Star Wars Nazio Republic. In the last episode, we got admitted into the Sith Academy, so we betrayed the Republic. No, I mean, well, we're kind of here by secret. But, um, anyways, what we have to start doing now is getting prestige. And, unlike certain games where we have to kill enough people to get enough experience, etc, etc, we gotta do oh, special things you. around the area. Oh, and she's My gonna start talking to me. For the okay. year. Your favorite prospect? Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. Well, As a matter you. of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Uh, sure. Yeah. Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership. So what's important about the tomb? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. You had my Reaching curiosity, but now you have my attention. Did, is part of the final <laughs> test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. I don't know, that map is pretty important. Well, we're gonna kill him, I imagine. Uh... Is that such a daunting <clears throat> prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Eh, Master true. Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. Uh -huh. People against masters sounds familiar. <laughs> and so it should. It is central to our beliefs. It is my responsibility to replace my master when I am strong enough. Yeah, well, let's well, see. What's your part in this? My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. <laughs> if only she knew. Uh, fine, Knight Hall. How do I know this is a test? <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. Hmm. Alright, uh, fine. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. Alright, uh, how do I get... Prestige. You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds, or artifacts you have discovered. The first and easiest way would be for you to learn the code of the Sith and speak it to him. I can teach you that, if you like. Shall I go on? I uh, can't tell me to go to the Sith? I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Yeah, a bit more violent sounding, though, anything? I have to say. Now, you can actually have her explain this to you, and it is actually important, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to say I'm good, I because I have game facts, and I don't care. Alright, uh, so how do I get more... Well, let's see. Da, 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 da. How do I get you more prestige? Be, the code of the Sith is the... There are a group... Oh, Uthar shoot. Declared that they would be Let me just get that. Themselves, but the students escaped and fled before the order could be carried out. Yeah, this is how you figure sure out. There are there are quite a number of side quests here on Corbin. Most, of, pretty much all of them are related to getting prestige, and you find out some of them through you through us. So this is one of them. We have to find some students that ran away and kill them. Oh, she has more. Sweet. I would suggest you talk to the other prospective Sith and find one you can gain an advantage with. Okay. I believe Lasho would be an excellent. Oh, and this is the second quest. Okay. She's too trusting. I have little doubt you could talk her into letting you help her somehow. 
Uh -huh. Just make sure it is you who gains the advantage, not her. Be ruthless if you must. That is the only thing that will impress Uthar. Yeah, that's the, the thing. The only other idea oh. I can suggest to you is that you head into the Valley of the Dark Lords on the surface. There are ancient ruins there which can be explored. Oh yeah, there's it's a number of things. You might find some artifacts but um, or information the thing you have to keep in mind of this is that if uh, a Corman is a very thing. easy place to get dark side points. So if you're trying to be a Jedi, then you're going you to have to tiptoe yourself around a few, a few things. Even if it means failing a certain quest or two just because of it. Now, the double cross. I'm very tempted to do this. Like, what happens is that you go to Uthar, he goes like, Okay, I'll poison Uthar, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what you can actually do is the double double cross. Which means that you can betray Uthar. Oh, hey, here's his room. No, I can't go in it. Poop. And basically tell Uthara that Uthar is going to kill her now. And basically what this does is that it makes a fight oh, uh, later no, down the road, pretty much at the I end of Corbin, a lot before. easier. My name is However, I'm going to go I'm going to go the man route. I'm going to try to I see if uh, I can actually <coughs> I beat them on my own. Yes, my I just hope I don't come to regret that. Because, I mean, you guys kind of need to know how to fight him so in the I event really that you can't succeed that quest. Know. So, anyways, this guy's having troubles. I'm not sick oh, yet. Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. And you're not? Well, I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. Well, how did you mean it, then? I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you. Can I? Uh, sure, you can. <laughs> you want to trust I me. just don't feel I belong here. <laughs> I thought maybe I did at first, but now, I don't know. I just have so many doubts. Uh, if, if it doesn't feel right, you shouldn't be here then. Yeah. But where would I go then? What would I do? Well, have you thought about the Jedi? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I never really thought about it. Maybe I should seek it out. Give it a try. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sweet, we got some experience too. Alright. I get the feeling that may have been a way to get prestige, but... <clears throat> like I said, yeah. if you're... If you're... Uh, I mean, there are more than enough quests in Gorbin, so that even if you do do it the light side pathway, what? you're still gonna have enough quests to proceed with the thing. I mean, they wouldn't be that mean to you. But yeah, tiptoeing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's uh, continue exploring this place. We explored those two halls. Let's see what's down these two halls here. This is a start. Oh, here's a little show. Let's I remember you out. from the colony. Yeah. You seem all right, though you'll not win the right to train before me. Uh, okay. It's been a while since I played last time. Who are you? You don't remember? My name is Lasho. We met in the colony ever so briefly. Oh, I think she was that Just one figure woman. that out, did you? Yeah. <laughs> It just so happens that I have a sure fire. Got her friends to laugh because we said we were red. Which is true, but they don't believe chance. us. Alright, and why is that? Well, yeah. Why is that? I found an artifact that will impress Uthar far more than anything you could ever scrounge up. I'll win for sure. Okay. I haven't brought you to Uthar yet. Though. I don't have it just yet. I'll get it when I'm good and ready. It's guarded, isn't it? <laughs> So what if it is? I'll get it eventually, regardless. Nothing good comes without a bit of a fight. That's the Sith motto, more or less. Uh, maybe I can help? But, hmm. I suppose I could use some help. The artifact I know of certainly won't be easy to take. But why should I work with you? Uh, because you want to work with me. Because it's better than being unbeatable. I don't think you can actually Ooh, force persuade some of the case. Jedi characters. I think I they may have an immunity that to that. Uthar could award both which is kind of funny. Prestige. But we'd be ahead of the others for sure. I want something out of And this usually, when you fail you. a I want you to tell me about force, force persuade, for and people realize that they prestige. get super pissed. So it's bad. Oh, uh, will this work? I wonder. Palpatine is cloaking for this too. Oh. I haven't heard about that. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll have to look into it. You've given me a lead, so hey, we have the event. Well, plan. technically, <laughs> the fact that I've discovered is an ancient Jedi holocron. Unfortunately, the holocron lies in the gullet of a Tukata mother. I can arrange for us to meet her, but you're going to have to help me in putting her down. Oh, that okay. makes sense to you. Go into the valley when you're prepared enough. I'll be amongst the central pillars near the north end. 
And then supposed to well, let's see. Oh, because it important. probably contained secrets from the time when the Sith ruins on this planet first existed. You don't think that Master Uthar would find that impressive? Fair enough. Uh, what is? Oh, well, yeah, we're done the here. Central I, don't really, I already know what a holocron is. What am I saying? I played for some leech. I sure did. The freak from the colony. Hello, freak. Get lost in your <laughs> Who are you? Shardan's the name. Don't forget it. You'll have me to thank when you get kicked out of here. Now you want to make an issue of it? And go into the dueling room? <laughs> I've got better things to do than give you a fair fight. Sounds like you being a pussy. Later, though, my lightsaber has your name on it. Well, I have two lightsabers, and they both have your names on it, so there. <laughs> Why am I so stupid? Uh. Do you have something to say, Miko? It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. Okay. Who are you? My name's Mikul. I'm one of the hopefuls up for the Sithhood, just like you. Well, I'm the one that's going to make it, that is. Okay. <laughs> oh, this office is so funny. Uh, why do we say so sure? You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling out of my nose or something? Uh, you need improvement. Uh, you can give me a hint. Huh? I guess there's no harm in it. Word has it that Master Uthar gives big points for Sith artifacts that are brought back from the valley. The valley? The valley of the Sith Lords. You know, where the Academy does all its excavating. If you really don't know, just go out the east exit and you'll see. Okay. Actually, it's important because it tells us where it is, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't open you. That's stupid. Alright. I think that's it for the hallways. I think, like, if I go, yeah, if I go further out here, this returns us to the main room where Uthar is going to be. So, since we're here, we might as well go ahead and get the first uh, bit out of the way the uh, code of the Sith. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. Well, I just you started! Have to quickly if you hope to best the others. Uh. Oh, uh, yeah, I could. I'm tempted. Uh, I know the code of the Sith. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only. Right, I think I actually remember this one. Passion? Through passion, I gain. Strength? Through strength, then power. I gain. Through power, uh, victory I gain. was it? <laughs> Through victory, I see. Oh, see, that's tricky. The chain, there are two chain three. options there. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. And here's the Tell twist on the whole thing. False. Victory by any means is desirable. This is why you asked you thorough to uh, th uh, 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 describe the things. Uh, false. Well done. There you I go. Will test you no more. But basically, you know we need, if you get Uther to explain impressive. the different pieces of the code, uh, you kind you of figure well, out because he has upwards of three questions that he could ask you. Uh, two of them end up being false, and then one ends up being true, from what I remember. Very well. All right, so we've got a good start. Uh. This okay. That goes after the colony, so I don't want that. Candrus, Candrus, please. Uh, I mean the exit he said was to the east, so I'm gonna go north. Uh, but um, hmm, what was I thinking? I've already forgotten. <laughs> uh, so students, uh, anyone with a specific name here? Anyone? Oh, let's see. Where does this go? I want to know. I don't know. Uh, that might actually be the exit because there is a blue line. Uh, there was a guy. Alright. Right. Hello, fellas. You know, you plan on going to the Valley of the Dark Lords? I'm headed there soon myself. He? Yeah, this guy's using Twi'lek voice things. Uh, I should be reading. Uh, you're here. Oh, ah, you actually know it. I was raised on a planet in the Outer Rim. We were not part of the Republic, so we never adopted their language. I can understand basic, but I'm not fluent in speaking it yet. I am, however, quite fluent in the Twi'lek tongue, so I prefer to use it when dealing with others. It's nearly as well known as basic, and no one will make fun of my accent. 
I think I made the right choice. I doubt I would have been assigned to the Sith Rings in the Valley of the Dark Lords if I was stuttering and stumbling over an unfamiliar language. Fair enough. Uh, how do we get to this now? The exit at the end of this hall will bring you to the surface. Then you need to go a natural path through the rock and come through the valley itself. Our many Siths work on the dig sites to the end of the valley. If you head to the northern where the strange pillars are, do beware of the Jakarta beasts. Uh, I think I'm wasting my time here. Or, you see, shortly before entering the valley, you will pass by a cave entrance. Do not enter it, it's full of dangerous creatures called Shirek. We do have to go there, though. Because that's where the people are. Um, let's go. Alright, so, ooh, it's up here. Hopefully, they don't mind me taking it. Alright, so I said, I don't understand that this. The, the map makes it look like this is the north exit, and yet that one guy said east. I'm annoyed. Alright, well, let's see what's over on the other end then, before I head out there. I mean, I'm at, I'm at 16 minutes, so. I really want to save the valley for the next video, because I mean, I, I'm already at the point where I should probably start cutting off the video, but I I'm going to see what's over here real quick. Something's going on. Let's see, interrogation room. Is this... Maybe you can oh, this is! This is another way you can get this prestige. This Mandalorian is proving more resistant than I expected. Eh. Uh, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to get him to tell us where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, all the serum combinations I'm using are proving ineffective. If I bring his drug threshold too high, he'll go into shock and be useless. Too low, and he just refuses to talk. It's been madly. Okay, how do you drug him? Art. Well, just yeah. activate the console. It gives you a variety of options for serum dosage. The right amount applied at the right rate should do it. The real trick is that the only way to get age your progress is to watch the prisoner closely for his reaction. Our scanners can't pick up his vitals. Uh, you want me to have Certainly. a go? Certainly. Uh, just don't kill him or send him into shock. He's supposed to be questioned, not executed. If you manage to get the location of his cash out of him, I'll be sure to pass on the good word to Master Yutha. Alright, so he... I guess I can go ahead and do this. This is like the one thing that we can do here. Uh, no, you won't... I'm supposed to talk to him somehow. Maybe if I approach the computer. Oh, there we go. He was with the you you said. He will not break my will. Mind my own, I will tell you nothing. Uh, can you speak? Well, let's see. Let's see, alright. The whisper thing is the good way to solve this. If you want to be an evil dark side person, you just go ahead and go to the thing. But if you're light side and you have high enough persuasion, so if you speak, then use the console to put me in a catatonic state. Your people will remove me, throw me away. You can survive for long periods in this state. escape, then... Uh, okay, I guess I just activate it now. Alright, let's see here. Is there... Oh, here we go. I guess you need high enough computer school, too. Alright, let's do it. Th thank you. It is, in, it is in my ship. The cache is in a trap door hidden on my ship. So look at that! We help him escape and we, also, and we even get the information for the weapon cache too. Using, I no longer need give it to you in exchange for my life. What, what have you done? I told you not to put the prisoner into shock, didn't I? Now, how are we supposed to find out where the weapon cache is? But you I know where it is! Curious. Ah, I may as well take this fool and dump him somewhere. He's useless to us. I cannot believe you are so incompetent. Hey, you... you can do it. I mean, hell, you... you... You were foolish enough to pass it off to someone else. You don't really have room to talk. Oh, what's in this room? Oh, is there something special in here? Another side quest, perhaps? Uh, it's going on for an awful long time. 
Oh, okay, there we go. Um... Hey, dude. Okay, we do it. And that guy's practicing lightning. Let's see what we can do here. Uh... Oh. I don't want to do that. Let's see what we can do with the computer. Uh, cameras, data files... Oh, what's in the data files? Or... Yeah, data files. No files of interest found. Ugh. Well, that was a war. Well, that was pointless. Uh... Let's see. <laughs> that sounds funny. I'm not gonna wait. I don't even have 50 spikes. Uh... Let's see. Get the camera thing, I guess. Might as well. That didn't really do anything, though. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video off here. Because it's over 20 minutes now. So this is Guy Christian 9. This is Star Wars Nights of the Old Republic. And in the next episode... We're gonna head out into the Valley of the Dark Lords, I believe. I mean, we're pretty much done with the Academy, so there you go. I'll see you then.